I came to Philly in the early pandemic days. It was like March 2020 and I moved to Philly May of 2020. I was working as a graphic designer freelance for different companies. I've always been an avid podcast consumer, but obviously during the pandemic, it was even more intense. And I just realized that I wasn't hearing stories from people like me, like immigrants or women. I just wanted a little more. And I, I wasn't seeing artists that came from socioeconomic backgrounds as myself, which can be discouraging if you don't see people kind of, quote, making it, that come from similar backgrounds as you, it can just feel really isolating. Draws in Spanish is about highlighting Latinx visual artists and designers. And on the show, I interview artists from all different countries throughout Latin America who live in the US and work here. And we talk about their culture, identity, as well as their artwork and their creative journey. My family came to the US when I was little and it was always instilled in me to be a professional, to go to college and be a professional and work in an office. And like that was an aspiration. I started to realize that advertising was a career, that people work in marketing, people work in business, and that was just as viable. And that's kind of the safe path I took to becoming an artist essentially was like graphic design and advertising that is, are still really creative professions, but are still formal professions. I've always been drawing since I was little. As I was growing up, I wasn't really exposed to a ton of art. I wasn't like really going to museums with my family or with my peers, like my friends and stuff like that, but just being exposed to stuff online, like I feel like Tumblr was a big inspiration and I couldn't tell you like a specific artist. It was just like peers or people who were doing similar things that I wanted to do. Those were my earliest inspirations more than whatever you see in museums and galleries. Every time that I reach out to an artist to potentially have them on the show, I either don't hear from them because maybe they're too busy or I get an enthusiastic yes. Um, and most of the time people are so excited to realize that this podcast is a thing and that you know I'm highlighting specific Latinx stories from creative people. And they're really, really pumped about the show and usually like binge listen ahead of their recording, but also just to share it with their friends and community. So I think that's like the best part of the show is that I've been able to slowly build a community of Latinx creatives who want to chat with each other, learn more about each other, and uplift each other along the way. And that's been like the most valuable part of this whole thing. In my dreams, Draws in Spanish is more than just a podcast. It's a community of Latinx creators that I can bring together for maybe working with other brands, working with artists for larger commissions, and kind of uplifting the creative community as I build the podcast with opportunities um, in the art space. I just definitely want to keep the community in mind always and do whatever is best for everyone. But I think a lot of um, Latinx artists and creators don't get a ton of recognition, so if I can do that, along the way and spread opportunities to everyone, that would be amazing.